Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, being with us here. Session is uh, starting now. And today, in this particular session, we will zoom in into artificial intelligence. DJ, you have the floor. AI should be a tool, especially for agro-system transformation and rural development. I hope you had the opportunity to see the social media wall. Our chief economist, uh, Maximo Torero. By 2030, 60, 670 million people will be in chronic undernourishment. And we need to do significant work also to increase resilience. And here is where AI can play a huge role. Help us in doing and analyzing enormous amount of data with supercomputers so that we can move forward, but also in trying to bring solutions that will help us to expand as quickly as possible those early warning tools. So please, let's work together and thank you so much for joining us today. I have uh, with us here uh, uh, Najat Mokhtar. From my perspective, AI is here to stay. We need to use the most of it to be able to accelerate all things that we are seeing, climate change, food insecurity, water insecurity, etc. FAO, uh, Director of Office of Innovation, uh, Vincent Martin. We embrace artificial intelligence because we think it's a beacon of hope. It has an incredible potential. Uh, our next panelist is online. His name is Alan Belvard. AI is hungry. It's hungry for data. When I first started, you had to choose between using time and space, and now you can use both. We also have uh, here with us Sebastian Bosse. That's crucial to make progress in the realm of agriculture using AI. Our uh, last panelist, Viking Gandhi. AI is, of course, no silver bullet, but when it's paired with well-intentioned organizations and farmers' own wisdoms, it can lead to a cascade of farmers taking many small steps toward a more resilient, profitable, and more food secure future for all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you.